Hi guys, welcome to our channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about load bearing wall structures. So we'll discuss what are the mechanism and also functions of the load bearing walls and advantages and disadvantages of load bearing walls. So let me introduce myself. My name is Vinay and if you are visiting my channel for the first time, don't forget to subscribe my channel and also click the bell icon. Let's start our video. So before we get into mechanism of load bearing wall, so what is load bearing wall? Load bearing wall is a structure where the load is entirely transferred through the walls to the foundation and then to the ground. So it is a basic difference between framed one. In the framed one, the load is transferred through the beams, beam to the column, column to the foundation. So here this is the main difference. So we'll discuss the mechanism. So walls are major component in the entire structure of this uh, load bearing wall. So these walls are generally constructed using high strength materials like uh, red brick and concrete blocks etc. And load bearing walls are important elements of concrete building as they support entire load from the structure because the top load from the structure will come to the walls and walls will transfer this load to the ground through the foundation. Okay. The load which acts from the top surface is transferred to the walls. So this is we discussed and next. So if any one side of the wall is removed or damaged, then entire building may get collapsed. So this we have to take into consideration while designing this load bearing walls. So next functions of load bearing walls. It carries the load of a home from roof and upper flooring. Okay. Load bearing walls transfers loads all the way to the foundation or other suitable frames members. So this is we discussed the load will be transferred to the foundation through the frame members like walls. And it can assist structural members such as beams, slabs and walls on the flooring above. And load bearing walls also carry their own weight. This wall is normally stacked on each flooring and load bearing walls can be used as an interior or exterior walls so you can use in the interior walls or also the exterior walls and such walls will usually be perpendicular to the floor choice or ridge means the wall will walls will be perpendicular to the floor and and concrete is a perfect material to support these loads but most of the times we use brick masonry as a main component in the walls but sometimes we also use concrete walls because these gives more rigidity and strength to the structure if you go for three or four floors maybe so we'll discuss what are the advantages it is good and inexpensive for building less than two floors construction this is applicable to only fewer buildings like uh, small buildings like two floors or one floor and if you want to increase the number of floors it is not acceptable or it is not good okay you have to go for framed structures and also good against fire resistant as rebars in rcc may fail by melting in fire you are not using rcc here means you are not using reinforcement that will give you more fire resistant than the frame structure next it has thick brick wall and which gives the walls more weather resistant and noise protection uh, for more load capacity you have to design more thicker walls that's why you will get uh, more weather resistant and more noise protection and next disadvantages of load bearing walls brick foundations require large foundation area as compared to rcc frame structure because the load carrying capacity of brick is much lower than that of rcc that's why we require large foundation area this is a small disadvantage this load bearing walls gives less available area because the wall size has to be increased for increased load capacity so we'll get less available area load bearing structure is poor in resisting to earthquake because shock waves create irregular stresses and compression in columns that's why load bearing structures are poor in resistant to earthquakes and tension is greatly developed by rcc steel which is absent in this load bearing structure so the tension forces has to be taken by the walls that's why there is a big disadvantage in that and the structure may fail faster than the rcc framed structure also we want to ask you a simple question what do you think the best way to construct a building 
it is a load bearing structure or a frame structure in which way you want to construct your house please comment below also if you want us to make a separate video on differences between these frame structure and load bearing structure we'll try to make another video please comment below and if you like our video please give a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe our channel and also click the bell icon for getting notifications of our latest videos see you in the next video thank you